This is FNAF Freddy and Foxy, and they come to life at night. Now, me and my brother Milo have to make them secure houses to keep them locked away forever. Will it be enough to keep us safe, or will these pesky animatronics escape? They're friendly now, but tonight they will become evil! <laughs> Quick, Chip, do something! Freddy wants to eat you, and Foxy wants to eat me, so if I take Freddy, you have to take Foxy. We need to build big grass platforms to make our secure builds on. We only have 20 minutes to make them, Milo, so we have to build quick. We gotta put these guys in a cage so they don't eat us at night time! Exactly. I think we're doing such a good job already. We just have to keep going before night comes and these animatronics attack. I'm really glad they're friendly at daytime. That means they can help us build! Yeah, me too, Milo. It's a really important part of why we will totally survive this. I am really hopeful. Freddy's being really helpful. He's standing guard and helping me make this platform, and it looks like Foxy's being helpful too. Well, even though they're being helpful, Chip, I still catch Foxy looking at me funny, and I'm feeling pretty nervous. Don't worry, Milo. Foxy does not want to eat you. He only wants to eat me in the same way that Freddy only wants to eat you. You do not have to worry. We just have to make sure we keep our animatronics in check before night comes. Well, you better keep Freddy away from me. I don't like that guy at all. Yeah, that's totally fair. I really like Freddy though. Freddy's a really cool guy, especially during the daytime. In the nighttime, he can become kind of scary, so I would personally avoid him then. Yeah, Freddy's got big chunky teeth and a yeah, totally, but we have a really good attitude. That's why our building is going so well already. We've already made a massive grass platform. I think this is totally big enough. Yeah, mine's getting really big because I have big dreams for this build. I'm going to make it impossible for Foxy to get you because you're my best friend. Thanks, Milo. You're my best friend too. Freddy, if you start making the rest of this grass platform while I get started on the build, we can get this done twice as fast. Can you do that for me, Freddy? Incredible. Oh, this is going to be amazing. First, we definitely need to build the entrance, so I'm going to outline an area just like this. This is where the front of the pizzeria will be. It's going to be so awesome. We need to build the pizzeria just like home for these animatronics. If we do not build this correctly, they will try and escape, and that's when they're definitely going to try and eat us. If we make it convincing enough, they might want to stay there forever. That is our best chance of survival, so we need to make sure we build this pizzeria really, really good. Otherwise, they will escape to try and totally get us. Good job, Freddy. Whoa, this grass platform is already looking way bigger. And wait a second, Milo, did Foxy just add so many blocks to it? Yeah, Foxy is so OP. He is so good at helping me. What? Hey, I'm sure Freddy's really good at helping me too. We're totally going to make an amazing pizzeria. That's how we're going to keep Freddy inside. Yeah, and Chip, pretty much before I saw Foxy looking at you funny, so I really think he's going to eat you. Really? Uh-oh, I do not like that thought. Freddy's been pretty good so far, but we have to remember, this is only daytime Freddy and Foxy. When night comes, they will both turn into their evil selves. We can't get too attached, Milo. If we become good friends with them, then when they attack us, it'll only hurt more. Yeah, I don't want to be broken hearted when my best friend Foxy really tries to kill my other best friend, Chip. What? Milo, is Foxy already becoming your best friend? Well, yeah, Foxy's been helping me so much, so we're really pretty much best friends already. Be careful, Milo. Do not trust him too much. You still need to make a pizzeria that can hold him captive inside. Yeah, and the pizzeria is going to make him really happy because there's going to be lots of Foxy snacks. Yeah, perfect. And wait a second, Milo, by Foxy snacks, you don't mean people, right? Well, no, definitely not. Unless it does mean people. In that case, it will be people. What? Milo, you can't feed Foxy people. Instead, you need to focus on building up your walls so Foxy can't escape. Just like how I'm making the walls of this part of the pizzeria super tall. This way, Freddy cannot use his giant tall body to climb over them. Yeah, bricks are pretty strong, right? Yeah, bricks are really strong. Are you actually using bricks? Yeah, okay, I'm using some bricks. And also, Foxy's putting some dirt and some mud and stuff there because that's also really strong. Wow, that's amazing, Milo. Foxy is really helping, and so is Freddy. It is so nice that these animatronics are friendly and helpful during the day. If only they could be friendly and helpful during the night as well. I wish it 
is always daytime. I'm pretty scared of the dark, to be honest. Yeah, I do not like the night shift, but this room is looking pretty good. I think it's time that I turn it into something even cooler. I need to make this into a security room with proper offices that we can watch the animatronics from. If we have security cameras all over the pizzeria, then no matter what way Freddy tries to escape, he will not be able to get past us. We'll see him at every step. That is the most important part of a security office, but we also need to make sure it is safe. Freddy cannot be able to get inside. If he manages to breach the walls, we will be in real danger. Let's grab an office door so we can properly defend ourselves. We now need to grab a door button as well as a light button. These will help light up the place and shut down the door. I think we might need to have them above the door though. This will use a lot of power, so we can't use too many. Oh goodness, if we totally use all our power, Freddy will be able to come inside. That would be a big disaster. I'm not gonna let that happen. Instead, we need to make a big glass wall. This is where we will see the animatronics through. I also need to grab some quartz blocks so I can start making the desk inside. It's important that we make it out of clean, nice looking blocks. That way, the mess will not distract us from trying to survive. Let's also grab some signs. You can place these down on the edges of a stair block to make it look just like a real chair. Now our security guard, which will totally be me has a way to watch over the pizzeria and make sure that Freddy doesn't escape and Foxy does not get in. We also need to grab some security cameras as well as a camera monitor. This is how we will watch the animatronics. Let's also grab some small monitors to put on the sides. This way we have a bunch of spare security screens. I think that's the perfect place to put them. Great and whoa Freddy you've already built so much. Thank you for being so helpful in trying to make a place to protect me and Milo. You're doing a really really good Good job. Whoa, Milo, Freddy is being really helpful in what? How are you and Foxy building so quick? Because Foxy is a pro, and you should probably be a bit nervous that he's going to break into yours and munch you up. Oh, goodness. I really need to make sure I do not let that happen. Okay, come on, Freddy. It is time to work double time. Let's make sure we make this pizzeria as safe as it can possibly be. Hmm, first, I think we totally need to add some proper security cameras around here. I'll put one over here and one on this hallway here as well. Perfect, they already have a really good view. We can even have a security camera inside the office. This way we'll be able to see behind us if they sneak through any vents we make. Now we need to make an arcade machine area. It is very important that we do this because in the real pizzeria, they have loads of arcades. If we do not build this properly, they will realize very quickly that this is not their home and Freddy will try and escape and Foxy will try to come in and get us. Oh goodness, I really really hope we make these right. Let's add a couple more arcade machines in the back right over here. The Foxy one is definitely my favorite. It looks like such a cool game, but I think I'd also like to play the Freddy one. Freddy is pretty cool, so his arcade machine must be awesome. I'll also grab some smooth stone to make the roof out of. This way, we do not miss any spots. In the real pizzeria, they do not have an open view of the sky. They have a roof that totally keeps everything dark inside. We don't want it to be too dark inside our pizzeria though. That would be really, really bad. They might think it's nighttime already and start turning evil way quicker than we thought they would. That means it's very important to make sure this pizzeria is very well lit up. What about you, Milo? Are you gonna have lots of lights inside your pizzeria? Yeah, lots of lights and also a lot of lava. Lava? What? Do they have lava inside the real pizzeria? Well, I'm building a lava parkour that's gonna be really hard for Foxy to get through. Aw, thanks, Milo. That is actually really, really nice. I guess if I'm trying to convince them that this is home, you're trying to stop them from escaping. That is really, really smart. I hope both our ideas work. And you know me, I'm really good at building parkour. Uh, what? Milo, every time you make parkour, I'm able to beat it really instantly. What? take a little while. Milo, I only take a minute, and that's if your parkour is super long. Normally, it is very easy to beat. My parkours are the ones that take ages. Yeah, your parkours are really difficult, and it always annoys me pretty much a lot. Yeah, but maybe if the parkour is difficult, it will annoy Foxy too, and he won't want to escape as much. All right, I'll try my best to make it 
difficult one for you, Chip. Thanks, Milo. I really appreciate it. And I'm also going to add in a pinball machine. Let's put them right over here. Whoa, these ones are cupcake themed. They look so cool and really fit in with the arcade. I wonder if there's any more that we can grab. Oh, these ones look awesome. This one is a yellow cake. Oh, this looks so cool. And we have a normal one right over here. Just in case people want to see the full screen and do not want to see the cake icing dripping onto it. Okay, this room is looking pretty good, just like the real pizzeria. Now, I think it is time to start making the main stage area. I am so excited to build this. This is where Freddy, Foxy, Chica, and Bonnie will sing their songs and do their performances. Hopefully, if they take long enough singing their songs, they'll never leave. Yeah, and maybe in the daytime we can go hang out with them if they get lonely. Yeah, exactly. We do not want our animatronic friends to get too lonely, especially if we survive and we owe them our lives. Exactly. Plus, they're really helping us build a lot, so we should be really nice to them in the daytime. Yeah, we definitely should. Freddy, thank you so much for building a massive part of my area. You were doing a really, really good job. And hey, Milo, is Foxy doing a good job at building yours? Yeah, he's putting down so many cool things. Foxy thinks like me. Whoa, Milo, if you're making it hard to get out of though, you should probably make it a bit more difficult. Right now, it looks like an area you could just walk through. Hey, don't be rude. We're working on it, all right, Chip. Mind your own beeswax. Okay, but Milo, if you do not build your Five Nights at Freddy's pizzeria secure enough, Foxy will escape and he'll totally try to come eat me. Yeah, and I really don't that to happen, which is why I'm working extra hard right now. Okay, I guess I trust you. I just hope you're really proving me right, Milo. Okay, I've also finished this floor. This main stage area is massive, way bigger than even the rest of the pizzeria combined. This is where they are going to give the best and biggest performances of their life. I wonder what songs they can sing on the stage. They can obviously sing the iconic Freddy Fazbear song, and they can sing the Five Nights at Freddy's song as well. They would totally sing them really, really well. I think maybe during the daytime, Foxy can even visit this pizzeria so him and Freddy can hang out together. But we do need to make sure that we bring Foxy back to your pizzeria at nighttime, Milo. If Foxy stays in my pizzeria at night, he will be really close to me and he'll try to come and eat me, remember? He won't eat you, Chip. You don't need to be scared. What? Milo, Foxy definitely will eat me when it becomes nighttime, unless he's properly protected, that is. Well, he will be properly protected. He's even helping me build it. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true, but wait a second. Milo, if Foxy is helping you build the protection, won't he know how to get through it? Um, I didn't really think about that. Build so that he doesn't know about them. Good luck with that, Milo. Foxy is responsible for the bite of 87. He is one of the most evil animatronics there is when it comes to nighttime. You better keep an eye out because Foxy certainly will. What's the bite of 87? That sounds really scary, Chip. The bite of 87 is a horrible accident that caused the original Five Nights at Freddy's to close down in the first place. That's why we have the animatronics and they're still not performing on the stage. It's also why we have to build pizzerias from scratch and we can't use the old one. The old one was closed a long time ago and hasn't been open for many, many years. Luckily though, this pizzeria will be way nicer and have a lot less bites of 87. That's why I need to really make sure we build it properly. If we want the animatronics to be happy and not bite people, we'll need to make sure we build them the best pizzeria possible. That's why this stage room is going to be so big. It's going to have amazing things on the ceiling and the stage will be so big they can walk all around it all day and never get bored. Hey, Milo, what are you doing? Why are you looking like that? I'm just keeping an eye on Freddy. I don't like him and I don't trust him. Wait, you don't trust Freddy, but Freddy's being so helpful to me, Milo. Yeah, helpful at the moment, but he's got a funny little look on his face and I'm not loving it. Hey, Milo, you need to leave Freddy alone. You can't be making him angry like this. I'm not making him angry. I just got my suspicion. I'm sure Freddy will not do anything to hurt you, Milo. That would be totally crazy. Yeah, well, me and Foxy aren't really liking you guys at the 
moment. What, Milo? You'll see that during the daytime, me and Freddy are so nice, and you don't have to be worried at all. We totally won't do anything to hurt you guys. Oh, goodness, I really, really hope that Freddy does not do anything to hurt Milo before nighttime. If the nighttime evilness starts to set in before the sun is down, that could be really bad, and it might make it harder to build this pizzeria in time. I just have to make sure Freddy does not do anything to Milo. Once I finish this roof, I can totally get started on building the main massive stage. It's going to be made out of spruce wood, and it'll even have stairs going all around it. That way, anybody that comes to this pizzeria can get up and close with the animatronics. During the daytime, at least, that is. Okay, I'll just build like this. This looks awesome. I need to make sure the stage is so big that you can see it from anywhere in the room. This seems like a pretty good measurement. I need to make sure I do the same thing on the other side, though. Okay, this is a pretty awesome and big stage. Now, I need to change its shape. It looks a little silly just being flat and square, so we have to make sure we add a little bit of an angle to it, just like this. Now, we also need to start making curtains for the stage. I think the curtains for the Five Nights at Freddy's stage are normally this purple color. Luckily, we have a bunch of purple curtains right here that we can totally use. These are really perfect for this. Uh-oh, I think I built them a little too far back. Let me make them a couple blocks forward. Let's remove some of the curtains in the middle here. This way, the audience can see Freddy really, really well. Let's also start putting some posters on the background. We need to grab the clouds decoration from the real stage. It looks pretty cool, and I think that looks just like the real thing. Let's also try and find a Celebrate Freddy poster. I think it should go right over here. Perfect. Now we also need to grab some lights. These stage lights will light up the stage in awesome different colors, when they're activated at least. We can put them on the ceiling right over here. We'll have one of each different color. Whoa, that is amazing. Look at all the different colors we have. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to show this to Freddy. Oh yeah, I need to go find him and tell him about this. Oh, Freddy. Hmm, where is Freddy? Uh, Freddy. Uh-oh, I can't see Freddy anywhere. This is bad. Has Freddy been hiding? Have we lost him? Wait, Freddy, why are you bridging over to Milo and Foxy's side? Hang on a minute. Freddy, are you building over to try and get Milo early? No, we can't be doing that. Not until nighttime, Freddy. Oh my gosh, Chip, this is really bad. Get your animatronic under control, jeez. I will. Sorry, Milo. Okay, Freddy. No, we have to go back right now. You cannot be sneaking over during the daytime. That is terrible. Yeah, Freddy. I knew something was weird about you. Hey, don't be mean to Freddy. He's trying his best. But okay, Freddy, we're going to have to try a little bit harder. Make sure you just don't do anything like that again, and we should all be safe. I really, really hope nothing like that does happen again. Now, we need to make some table areas. We've got to go even faster than we were before. Because Freddy is restless, and already going to attack Milo, we need to build even quicker. I didn't realize the bad effects of the evilness would set in this quickly, but it's happening faster than I thought. We just have to make sure we go as fast as we possibly can and build as good as we possibly can. That is our last hope in protecting Milo and stopping Freddy from escaping. Okay, let's make a bunch of chairs all around these tables that we've just built. We have a bunch of different colors that we can use. They look so awesome right now, and I really think this will help convince Freddy that this is his new home. Perfect. Let's also grab some posters to put around this pizzeria. Maybe if he sees them, it will make him happy and calm down. That might even help him stop attacking. We just have to add as many posters as we can. Wow, these already look so cool. Let's just add a bunch more and look, it's even more versions of Freddy. He would so love this. This needs to be a surprise for nighttime. This way, he won't know what the pizzeria looks like from the inside, and it will make it a lot harder for him to escape. Let's also grab some pizza boxes. I know Freddy loves pizza. It's one of his favorite things ever. So if we put pizza boxes on all the tables and add pizza to the walls, Freddy might never want to escape. He'll be too distracted and hungry from all the pizza. Let's add some wall pizza right over here. It's a little weird having pizza on the wall now that I think about it. What if the pizza gets moldy and gross? Ew, that is disgusting. I really hope nobody eats the wall pizza. At least I definitely won't. Let's also grab some more balloons. This is a really happy pizzeria, and balloons are the happiest thing of all. Let's grab the colors of Golden Freddy, Toy Bonnie, and Foxy as well. 
This way, we met all the colors of his good animatronic friends, and we helped make sure that he does not want to find them outside. Hopefully this is enough, but I'm not 100% convinced. Freddy can be pretty smart. That's why it's his name on the pizzeria and not Bonnie's or Chica's or something. If Freddy is the smartest one, we have to make sure we build really, really well to convince him. In the real pizzeria, there are wires hanging down from the ceiling, so we better add them as well. Now we'll add some to the wall, because that is definitely what the walls in the real pizzeria look like. They have wires just running down them. I'm not even sure how this pizzeria stayed open in the first place. I wish we didn't have to add them, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, we do. It's just a price we pay to make sure that Freddy does not want to escape. I've built a lot of stuff here, but I also do need to add a security camera in here. This way, we can see all the animatronics, and we'll also add one here on the stage, and one that can see these other corners as well. Perfect! These ones will totally help us see all around this room. But what if this room is taken over, as well as the security office? There is nowhere to run at the moment. I would be totally trapped in here if Foxy broke in, and if Freddy broke out. Out. I think we need to add a second line of defense, somewhere that we can run to in case of a big emergency. I do not want to tell anyone about it, because the more people that know, the less of a secret it becomes. I need to work on keeping it a secret, because that is how we are going to stay safe. Let's add some celebrate posters around this room to maybe distract everybody that comes in. Yeah, I think this might do a good job of that. I also think we definitely need to make some sort of secret entrance in here. This is an iron trap door. If we use a lever just like this, we should be able to open it and go inside. I think we need to build a secret area underground, but hmm, what can we make it look like? Oh, I know exactly what to make it look like. We need to make it look like the sewers underneath the pizzeria. That way, if Freddy or Foxy does manage to get inside, hopefully they will just think that it's just a gross part of the building that they don't want to go in. They won't realize that it will be our last hiding spot. I'll also build parkour down here that any animatronic will have to get through. Hopefully that will also stop them. It might just give us enough time to wait until the day. This sewer is looking so cool. Even I would not come down here. That is if I didn't know it was a safe house. Maybe we'll even add lava in this sewer or something. I don't know. Lava could kind of give it away. If the animatronics see the lava, they'll definitely realize there's something hiding behind it. Most sewers do not have lava inside, so it would be a dead giveaway. Yeah! Oh no. What is it, Milo? Guess what? What? I have no idea what what's going on? Foxy and I just built a really good art gallery. An art gallery? What, Milo? Aren't art galleries, like, really expensive? Yeah, but Foxy was telling me that he really likes watching art, so I thought since he's spending so much time here, we might as well give him a pretty art gallery. Wait a minute, Milo. I thought you were making Foxy a secure area that he had to escape from. Oh, uh, yeah, I am definitely doing that, but I'm also making it really nice. What? Milo, if Foxy has an art gallery, won't he try and escape even harder to get to it? No, because my parkour is going to be really impossible for anyone to get through. I don't know about that. Milo, you should probably have someone test this before the night comes. That way you can make sure that it's way too hard for Foxy to beat. Well, Milo, you cannot test parkour. I really hope you come up with a better idea than that. Well, I think you need to work on your bad attitude. No way. I only need to work on making my pizzeria extra cool and now extra secure. I really hope Milo builds a proper parkour. I might even have to test it myself. He cannot test things properly. He just runs through them, not even going through the challenges. If Milo tests his own parkour, we could be in a lot of trouble. Foxy will definitely be able to escape. I need to find a way to convince Milo to let me test his parkour. But how can I do that? I just need to think. First, I need to build the sewer. I think we can have a big open area here. Maybe I'll build a parkour section of my own. I just just have to be really, really sneaky about it. Oh yeah, this is looking really cool. I really hope Freddy is not wondering where I am right now. He's doing such a good job still building this grass platform. Wow, I am so glad Freddy's on my team. Even though he did try and get Milo that one time, I think he's definitely redeemed himself by being such a good builder. This way, we can totally get it done by nightfall. 
I think this room is basically big enough by now. How big does the sewer really need to be? I guess we'll totally find out. This parkour has to be pretty big, and I can't use lava in it. Ugh, that's gonna make this way harder. I need to use a block that might naturally appear in a sewer somewhere, and lava is not it. Maybe a water parkour? No, that's way too lame, and it would be way too easy for an animatronic to chase us through if we ever did need to escape through here. Maybe a cobweb parkour? That could be perfect. Spiders love to hide in sewers, especially during the winter when it gets really, really cold and they need to seek shelter inside so they don't freeze. Oh goodness, I'm now building in an area that Freddy can probably see. I have to make sure I secretly add grass blocks on top. This way we can break the ones underneath to make the sewer without Freddy being suspicious. I just have to come up with a convincing lie. Oh yes, I'm just doing some gardening. It's really important to garden when making a pizzeria. Okay, uh, I think this looks pretty good. I like the garden a lot. I'll just add one block on the back of the garden for no reason. Okay, I think Freddy's totally buying it. Wow, this is really cool. Now, I think I can continue breaking these blocks. Awesome, we've added a bunch of blocks that now we can turn into stone bricks, thanks to the fact that they are now safely covered. Now that we've finished the roof, we can start actually making this parkour. I think having a bunch of iron bars at the front looks really cool and mysterious, as well as having iron bars be what the parkour is. I think this looks awesome. Uh-oh, the roof is pretty short, so we have to make sure it's not too hard. If me and Milo need to run through here from Freddy and Foxy, we need to make sure that we probably won't fall, because if we do, we will land in these cobwebs and get stuck where it is the perfect opportunity for Freddy and Foxy to get us. I've got to be a little bit more careful than that. Okay, these stairs look pretty good, but that is way too far to jump. Let's rebuild that a little bit closer. Perfect. I also need to replace the bottom stair with a stone brick block. That looks pretty cool. Let's also make a tightrope section. These animatronics are pretty old. They were built a very long time ago, almost 20 years, and that means that their mechanics aren't the best. That's really good for us because we are so agile, we'll be able to run in a really confusing line. But if the animatronics try to chase us, they'll totally fall into these cobwebs, and it'll take them so long to get out that it will be daytime by the time they do. I also think because we did not use lava and instead use cobwebs, we are making a really way more humane parkour course for our friends. We do care about Freddy and Foxy a lot, so by making sure that this parkour does not hurt them if they fail and only stop them until they become nice again, we can really protect them. Wow, I'm so excited to see this. I really, really hope it works. And the parkour only needs a couple more jumps. I think this section of the parkour is safe, but what can I build at the end here? I guess I'll have to have a think about it while I grab some security cameras. I'll put one in here, and we can also put one at the end of this hallway. This is great. I'll also grab a ladder right here. This way we can come back down anytime we want. All right, now where did I put that monitor? Oh, I think I left it outside. I should be able to find it if I look around here. Maybe it's in the corners and oh yeah, that's perfect. The camera monitor. Now I can totally set it up. And wait a minute, what's Milo and Foxy doing right now? I'm really trying to figure out how this laser box works, but it's so confusing. Oh no, maybe I need to find something else. Whoa! Foxy, what are you doing right behind me? That pretty much scared me a lot. Wait a minute, Milo just got scared by Foxy? That is so funny. That actually gives me a really good idea. I am so jealous of how much bigger Milo's pizzeria is than mine, so I'm going to pretend to be Freddy and sneak over to scare him. If Milo's scared of Foxy, who's his friend, he'll definitely be scared of Freddy. I just need to find a way to sneak over without Milo seeing me first. Okay, I think this should be pretty good. Right now, Foxy's totally with him, but I think this should be a way to get over without them seeing me. Oh, I know, I can totally end a pearl. Yeah, this will definitely help. I'll shoot one right over there and oh goodness, okay, that totally worked. Now I can sneak around from the back. All right, I just have to wait for Foxy to run away. It might take a while though. Foxy's really watching over Milo, but when he does, I'll be able to go and scare Milo. Maybe if I hit this thing enough times with a laser crystal, it will work. Oh my gosh, this is super annoying. Look, Foxy's leaving now. This is the perfect opportunity. I better get this glass out of my hand though. It looks really silly if Freddy's just holding glass and I should probably get the rest of the Freddy suit too. I have Freddy legs, Freddy body, and of course, Freddy boots. Let's totally put all of these on here, just like this. Whoa, this looks kind of crazy. Okay, it is time for me to scare Milo. I just have to sneak up behind him and rah! Oh my gosh! Milo's 
trying to block himself in? That is so funny. I think this gives us a lot of time to- Ah! Foxy! Oh no! Oh no! Oh goodness! Oh no, please! Stay back! Stay back! Oh, I need to retreat. Okay, we should be safe on my side of this building divide. Oh, that was really scary. I better take off this mask and this suit. Maybe that made Foxy angry. Oh goodness, but maybe now that Milo's locked away in that bedrock box, it gives me a chance to catch up. Milo's pizzeria looks way better, but I need to make sure Milo keeps Foxy locked away forever. Besides, it is getting a lot closer to sunset. We do not have a lot of time. I need to get back to work and quick. I need to make sure I build the rest of this pizzeria really, really secure. What we have done so far is just not enough. We need to try even harder. That Foxy scare really, really got to me. So now I am kind of panicking. If me and Milo do not make these pizzerias secure enough, we could be in real trouble. I think I know exactly what I have to do. I need to make these final rooms the most difficult to get through we have ever made. I think that starts by making a little extra vent area over here. I'll just add a couple more blocks, but oh no, Freddy is totally running around this area. I have to make sure he does not see anything I build. That could be a really close one. This prison will also be just like the Five Nights at Freddy's sister location, deep underground and very, very secure. There will only be one way in and out, so the animatronics cannot escape if they fall down here, that is. I'll make the floor level here, perfect. This is awesome. Now, we also definitely need to make this room absolutely huge. The sister location pizzeria is a little bit scary, so I think we need to make it look exactly like that. We need to add the colors that they have. I think they have magenta terracotta as well. It looks all happy on the surface because it's pink and bright colors, but when you enter the sister location, you are attacked by the evil animatronics inside. I'll put magenta terracotta all along the walls around this part. This room needs to be a little confusing. There can be a bunch of fake doors off to the side and a key card that only unlocks one door. It can be totally fake for the rest of them. That would be really, really cool. It would definitely help us buy time running away from the animatronics. Then I can add some blocks of smooth stone. I'll put it right above these terracotta blocks, just like this. This is the perfect block to add as the roof. I'm not 100% sure how to set up a key card system though. I think Freddy and Foxy would be experts on it, but if I tell Freddy or Foxy what I'm doing, then they'll know I'm building something secret, so we cannot tell them. I think these keycards should work, but oh goodness, I think I might have to ask Milo how to use one. This is bad. I need to build a ladder so we can get back up. I wish I didn't have to. If I did not build a ladder, then the animatronics would not be able to return, but it made me realize that if we go down there, we could be stuck forever. Luckily, these cobwebs still definitely do their job. But I'm gonna go upstairs and ask Milo how to use a key card. I wonder if Milo will know anything about this. I sure hope he does. Wait a minute, why are there Foxy posters here? I did not place these down. Could Foxy have done it himself? Or, wait a second, Milo, do you know anything about these Foxy posters over here? Um, uh, but yes! And, wait a minute, why are you wearing glasses? Well, Foxy gave me glasses so that I look really cool. Um, Milo, Foxy has really poor eyesight. That's why he wears an eye patch. I think he just wanted you to wear glasses like he has to. Yeah, but now I look awesome. And I'm feeling really good about myself. Okay, well then that's good. I hope you continue feeling good about yourself. And hey, the Foxy posters were you. Yeah, I told you. I'm just trying to spread the word of how awesome Foxy is. Oh, Milo, I can't believe you do that. It looks so weird on my pizzeria and Foxy is not awesome. Maybe during the daytime he is, but at nighttime, he's gonna come and try to eat me. That's not awesome. It is a little bit awesome, actually. <laughs> Wait, I totally forgot to ask Milo about the key cards. Ugh, that's okay. I think he might be working for Foxy anyway. Luckily, I think this scanner door might be exactly what we need. Let's go back downstairs and test it out. Let's just add a little bit of stone bricks right here. Perfect. The scanner door can go right here. Hopefully this key card works. Whoa, it just opened for me? Uh-oh, that could be a bad sign. Maybe if I'm not holding the key card, it won't work. Oh no, that totally worked. That's bad. We need to find a different kind of door. Maybe the reinforced door or even the keypad door. We'll try the reinforced door first and maybe this will work. No, it totally doesn't. Uh oh, maybe the keypad door will be what we need. Wait, it gives you a code. Oh, I know how to set this up. 
let's make the code 1987. That is the year that the bite of 87 happened. Okay, I'm also gonna get an anvil so that you have to grab this key card. We can rename the key card to 1987. We'll let them know that this is the code. That way, if any survivors from Foxy or Freddy's attacks come down here, they will know exactly where to come. Okay, let's see if this key card really works. We'll try 1987. Okay, whoa, that totally worked. Perfect, and we can go through the door. It also shuts off after a certain amount of time. That is really, really cool. We also should probably add a couple different fake rooms. These rooms will be decoys and will really add extra time to the night when Foxy tries to totally come in here and get me. That will be very, very useful to have a decoy for. The longer he takes to try and find me, the sooner he can transform back into his nice daytime self, or at least his sort of nice daytime self. We need to add something to the rooms though. I don't want Foxy to realize it's a decoy. If he realizes it's a decoy, he might get really, really mad and just try to break through the end door. That would be terrible. The more angry Foxy gets, the sooner he might break through and the harder he will try to find me, as well as the more evil he will be once he eventually does get me. That's why in these rooms, we just need to build some security guard costume areas. This way, whenever the security guards need their uniform, they would just come in here. Hopefully that's enough to convince Foxy that this room actually has a real use and is not just a decoy for him. We can make the walls go up to about this height. This way, it looks like changing rooms, like where the security guards really would have changed their outfits. Let's add an armor stand in here, and in this room, we can add a chest. It's pretty far back along the system of rooms here, so hopefully it will be the last room that the animatronic Foxy tries to come inside. Now that the keycard is safely in the chest, we need to grab a guard hat. Okay, this looks really good on the security guard, but the security guards at Five Nights at Freddy's don't wear normal security outfits. They wear custom Freddy suits. This is so that when the animatronics scan them, they do not see that they are real people. The animatronic sensors just think it's another machine, so they don't attack them. It's a really genius design. And on this side of the wall, we can totally add a bunch of fake vent systems. These will act like a maze to totally confuse Use Foxy. It'll lead him down a bunch of fake hallways and dead ends to really add time to how long it takes him to beat this thing. I really hope he falls for this. If he doesn't, this could be a total disaster. Okay, vent number one has been made, but now we need to do the other vents. Maybe these vents here can loop into each other. That might really confuse Foxy. I know it would definitely confuse me, and it would totally confuse Milo. This last vent can be a staircase. Hopefully this will really tire Foxy out. Okay, this vent looks looks so silly, I really like it. Now for the final vent, we need to make this the longest one we have built yet. It is going to be a huge corridor that Foxy will have to go all the way down if he wants even a chance of checking every room. Let's run in here and grab the key card. This way we can open the door and enter the next room. I really think this next room should be a prison cell. Let's make sure all of the walls are made out of andesite, but hmm, andesite is not strong enough to keep Foxy in. We need to use the strongest block in the entire entire game. Bedrock. Oh wow, this looks so intense. And Foxy will not have the key code, so he will not be able to escape once he's inside this jail. I need to be able to run inside here and lose Foxy in the jail cell. That way I can use the key code and run back out to keep Foxy inside for the rest of the night until he becomes safe again in the daytime. Oh yes, this is a great idea. I really hope it's not too easy to see the cell from the other side though. If Foxy sees this too early, he'll be able to to realize what I'm doing and plan ahead to make sure he does not fall for my tricks. I think this should probably be good. We'll make a little looping thing back here. This is going to be where we run around in an emergency and lose Foxy in the prison cell. We just have to make sure we build up the walls properly. I also think we've done a great job at building somewhere that Freddy will want to stay inside of. Freddy loves his pizzeria. That's why his name is on it. It is his home and will always be his home. Hopefully I've made my pizzeria good enough that he won't want to leave. And and done. Okay, this roof is now complete. I better check on Milo's build now, cause uh oh, the sun is almost down. This is terrible. Once that sun sets, Foxy and Freddy will come to life. Milo, I have bad, bad news. What is it? The sun has almost set and Freddy and Foxy are about to become evil. Oh my gosh. Oh no, Foxy, I don't want you to become evil. Milo, just show me what parkour and defenses you've made to keep Foxy inside. Hey. I do trust you, Milo, but I just really want to make sure. Well, I guess if you go through mine, I want to take 
take a look at yours, Chip, because I don't trust you now. What? You don't trust my secure defenses? Okay, that's understandable, Milo. I guess we just have to go through each other's pizzerias to make sure they're secure. Fine. All right, you have to start with this one. Before you start, I'm going to tell my friend Foxy to go into his secure location. Bye, Foxy. Bye, Foxy. Okay, is it time for me to do this parkour? Go all right, I guess I just have to make these jumps, and whoa, hey, this is easier than I thought it would be, Milo. What? How are you doing it so easily? I guess you haven't made it hard enough. Milo, if Foxy was here, he would be doing this parkour in three seconds, and wait, there's a chest here. Yep, better open it up. Wait, there's a lever inside. What's this for, Milo? Well, you'll see. Come on, Chip, back to the start. Oh, do I have to do this parkour in reverse? Yeah. Okay, that shouldn't be too difficult. I wonder if Foxy would have been able to do that. And now where do I go? Well, this is my amazing art gallery. You need to find a place where that lever can unlock. What? Oh, Milo, have you hidden something behind one of these paintings? Yeah, I might have done that. <laughs> Wait, I found a room, but this just says pranks everywhere. Yeah, I got you. Hey, Milo, what am I even trying to find this for? Is Foxy locked up properly? No, you're helping me lock him up by doing this. And wait a second, why is there lava here? Were you planning on tricking somebody going through these paintings? Yeah, because if someone wants to unlock Foxy, they're going to have to go through all this effort. Okay, I guess that's a good point. But Milo, you need to be more careful. Whoa, there was lava here as well? Yeah, Chip, I think you need to be more careful. Oh, goodness, wait, this painting let me in a little. And what? Would that fall through into the void, Milo? Yeah, it's super dangerous in this art gallery. Wait, this one just leads outside. Yeah, well, now you're outside and the animatronics are gonna get you! Oh no, I have to quickly find the exit before the animatronics come and find me. Being outside was a very revealing spot to be in. And wait, why is there a cactus here? Did you get spot? No, I didn't. But Milo, please, I need a hint. This is really difficult. Fine, it's really close to me. Maybe it's on this wall here somewhere. And wait a second. Oh, look, an iron door. Perfect, I'll use the lever and... Wait a minute, why does this say secrets? Well, you better have a look! Okay, top secret, do not tell. <gasps> the passcode is 1234. Yeah. Where do I use this, Milo? Well, now you have to go down the next hallway. Okay, I just need to find where that is and... Whoa, this hallway is full of animatronics. Yep, it's an animatronic maze. They're not going to come to life and hurt me, though, are they, Milo? No, Chip, I'm not a dum-dum. Okay, I just have to be really careful. These guys are so freaky. I don't like this at all. Why do they look like the real Foxy? Well, because they're based off the real Foxy. Okay, wait, is this a maze? Yep, are you going to do it? Yeah, I guess I have to. I just need to find a passcode at the end of here somewhere. Uh Chip, chip. Okay, I found it, and the passcode is 1234 if I remember, and I did remember. Now there's an iron door. Where do I have to put this? Well, now you have to use that door to lock Foxy up for the night. Okay, that's a really good idea. I'm definitely going to do that as soon as I can. I really hope I can do this in time, and boom! Okay, I've locked Foxy inside, Milo. All right, Foxy is locked up for the night. You stay there, Foxy. You're not going to chomp my friend Chip tonight. Now that it is safe with Foxy, inside, you need to now test my pizzeria, Milo. That's right, because I'm going to check if it's safe. Here is my secure pizzeria, Milo. Wow, this is looking pretty good. Lots of games to play and stuff. Yeah, but you're missing one pretty important part of it. Oh my gosh, it's Freddy! I got a van chip. Where do I go? You go in here, Milo, to the security office where you can shut this door. Okay, I'm safe in here. Now there's a chest it's a camera monitor. Freddy's coming, Milo. He's about to break down the door. If you do not go downstairs quickly, he'll get you. You better run. All right, I'm forgetting about the camera monitor. I just gotta go downstairs now, and why does it smell so bad down here? This is the sewers, and Freddy's already broken through the door, so you better hurry, Milo, through the sewer parkour. Wow, this is way scarier than my pizzeria. Oh, and I fell into the cobweb. Uh-oh, let me check the security cameras to make sure Freddy is not coming. I have a bad feeling, though. I think he might be coming down the sewers. And look, there he is, Milo. You better make a run for it through the parkour. I'm running, but this is really difficult parkour, Chip. Why did you make it like this? Hey, it's so that 
Freddy has a difficult time following you. Look, he's coming here as well. You've got to go through to the end, Milo. It's your only hope. Oh my gosh, he's really creepy. Why is he looking at me like that? Oh, I have no idea, but you've made it through the parkour. Now is your chance. Okay, Freddy's still on his way, though. You need to find the right room with the correct key card to let you through that door. But there's so many rooms. Oh, no, this one's a dead end. Yeah, I totally did. Don't worry, Milo. One of these rooms is the right way through. These vents are definitely not it, though. I'll give you that hint. What? These stairs went all the way up and it's so distracting. Uh, Milo, I have bad news. Freddy has made it inside. What? Oh, my gosh. Freddy, get away from me. Oh, gosh, there was a Freddy in there as well. Chip, this is totally freaking me out, Dad. Yeah, you need to use it on that door, but careful, Milo, you don't have much time. Oh no, Freddy's realized you're not hiding in that room, and he's going directly towards you, Milo. Oh gosh, look, I opened it up. Hey, Freddy, come in here. Oh look, Freddy's coming towards you. Milo, you have to open the door to let Freddy through, but then lose him inside the jail. Over and over. Oh goodness, quick, Freddy's gotten through. Okay, now's your chance, Milo. 1987. Okay, I've made it through. You have to lose Freddy inside this bedrock loop. Hey, Freddy, come over here. Yeah, I'm over here, Freddy. And I'm gonna run. Oh wow. Okay, now's your chance, Milo. Once Freddy goes around that corner, you need to run to the door and escape. Okay, what's the card again? You did it, Milo! You have locked Freddy inside this cell. We have survived the evil animatronics! Hooray! This is amazing! Yeah, we totally did it. Bye, Freddy! I'll see you in the morning! Bye.